just a game. We all want to win. Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, today I'm going to show this brand new game just came out. Um, called Bubble Key. It's from Ryan Jake Studios. The guys that made games like Clank and the Power Rangers Miniature game. Um, this is a quick paced matching game. Uh, you roll some dice. You have some different tiles that you have to play. Uh, and then you have to try and match the pictures. So, what's really cool about this is it comes with this shaker cup. You have all these dice in there. So, each dice has different pictures on there. So, basically, playing the game, you'll shake it, pop off the lid. Set that aside. You kind of got hard to see because of. Let me scoot that down a bit. I really bad lighting here. Alright, so then there's all these different dice, and you're trying to do is make these different bubble keys. So there's actually two different game modes. Um, the main one is everyone's playing against everybody else, and you roll these dice, and you have different colors on here, which are your bases. And then you have these bears here that are chocolate. There's different sizes, ones, threes. Um, and then your other dice are other different animals. So there's this... Bird, pig, ice fish, cat, uh, I think that's all of them, and a uh, monkey. So then what you do is when you roll these dice, you set the, every player sees them. What you have are these cool transparent cards, which all have different pictures. So every player has the same nine cards. Each one has different things on them. Their grids, and then each player also gets a set of ingredient cards. So there's orange, which is black tea, brown, which is milk tea, green for green tea, and brown for coffee. So, like in this example here, I have a brown dice, so I would do the brown one. And what I want to do, and then every player has to try and match these pictures by playing various cards. So you can see you have oh, my camera's at. So I can play these, I can play these in any direction on my tile. I can play them left to right. I can play them off the tile like this if I want, as long as the square is in one of the squares. So I need one of these monkeys. So I might do something like this, because then there's only one showing. And then I need two of the green ones. I need two of the fish. And that's what makes this cool. These tiles all are clear, so they overlap each other. And you can overlap the other colors. Like, I could have put this like this and covered up that one. But so far, I don't need to do that. But what might end up happening is because now I have to get out five of the brown bears. So, that might have been smart for me to actually have started with them. So, if I pull my fish back out. There are four bears. I'm losing track of where all of my things are. So, there are five bears. And I need to play two fish. So I have this. So then what happens is basically each player is racing, trying to do this as quick as possible. When they think they have it, they cover up all the guys with the shaker to stop everyone else from seeing what's going on. Everyone stops playing. Pick it up, you match it. If they're correct, they win. If they're wrong, um, I believe they... They have, like, these customer cards you're trying to do, and you lose. If you win, you gain the points. If you lose, you lose one of your customer cards. First person to win three times gets three customer cards wins. So if you lose, though, pick your cap back up. Everyone tries, keeps going to the second player. If the second person loses, then you end it. Um, 
So it's a speed game, looks kind of interesting. I'm gonna set that aside, set those aside. So yeah, there's these cards for everybody. And the double-sided cards. So each player plays up to, I think, five players. Let's see if the box tells me. Oh, 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 I'm knocking stuff over. Uh, it does not. It's four or five players. I don't remember. Probably four. Um, we get each a set of these nine clear cards. The alternative way to play is you get these cards. So on the back of them, you can just play one of the cards, then you have to try and match the pictures versus rolling the dice. Um, so they have, like, different patterns for each one. So that's just an alternate way to play, maybe if you don't want to roll dice because it's too loud or you just want challenges. Um, so on the front of all the cards... Let's see if we can get this so there's not a giant glare. There we go. We'll do them on that side. So when you're playing, these are the backs of the customer. These are your customer cards. It's on the back are your single or your alternate game mode. Um, otherwise, each one of these is what you play during the game for points. Um, and they have all these different cute little pictures. I'm just going to play them. But they have little text on here and then some uh, other language text. I'm not sure which languages they are. Uh, one's Korean, because this is, uh, bubble tea is really popular in Korea. Uh, so, you guys have different quotes, but this one here is worth five points. Uh, if they win, she so basically shuffle these. Make some humans, some different characters. They're very cute little cards. They don't do anything otherwise. It's not like they have like special effects. So these are all your black keys, I believe. Nope, they have different colors on the back. So that's either five points. Um, and it's probably on the back. It's probably difficulty based that way. So we got some four points. Yeah, so I saw this game was on a Renegade site. I was actually ordering some other games. Um, so it looked interesting. I thought the Cup Shaker really didn't have too many other pictures. Thought I'd try and get a video out for it so other people could at least see what it is if they're interested. And they know what they're doing. Uh, one thing to note is the stickers. On the die, these are all stickers. You actually have to put them on yourself. Uh, so when you first buy the game, or if you're buying it for kids, just keep that in mind. Um, just peels off. It tells you like one dice gets V6, one gets V6. Uh, which order they're in, I don't think it makes any difference because they're dice and they're random. Fireworks, kitty. So there's some blue ones. I think they put some people in here too. I also like that they're not just the same cards. Like, oh, these are the same 10 pictures in green. These are the same 10 pictures in red. Lots of games would do that. Um, which is fine. I get it. But it's cool that they have different pictures for every single one of these cards. So that is all of the customers, and like I said, there's all these different combinations on the back. Yo. I'm not going to sit here and go through every single one. Some have less, some have more. Um... And then just a quick look at the instructions in case anyone's curious. So you got your emoji cards. Your emoji emoji cards. P-Base, you play your customer cards. So this is showing 
customer cards, you have the shaker. Go. Match the cards, you think you got it, and you check them. You know, it's very simple. And then, so, also it's neat, is that all the different Moji Moji characters have names, personalities. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and read all these. But, yeah, so it's not just, oh, this is a bear, this is a monkey. It's a little information about each one, which is kind of cool. If you want to read it, you can pause the video and... Take your time to read them, or just go buy the game, the game itself. And then inside, it just explains the rules a little bit more. Oh, there are five sets. It's a five-player game. Customer, picture, points, different ingredients, base cards. So game one, which is the first one I was telling you about. So that's it's going to five players. Takes about 20 minutes. And then, like, you have the customer card here. I believe you have it face down just so you don't know how many points it's worth. Showing you matching cards. So they can be off the thing. They just have to be in squares. If you match them, if everything's good, you win. If they don't, you're done. And then game two, foot, first player to get three. So this one, you just set it up a little bit differently. This is where you flip over a card versus rolling dice. Alright, so that is... Bubble Key. Uh, Renegade Studios, you can order from their website. It's probably available on Amazon and other places like that. Uh, catch you guys all later. Bye.